Now I'm going to show you how you can use a notebook that is in a project that someone else has created and shared with you. So in such an example, you're likely to have a link to this other person's project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. Now I can see that I'm not actually in my own uh, Azure account. I am visiting Sanjay Mishra's account. And uh, this is a project that he has made public, so that's why I'm able to see it. But if I want to actually run the project myself, I need to clone it into my own Azure account. Um, there are actually two options. I could also, because uh, Jupyter Notebooks that are in Azure are exactly the same as Jupyter Notebooks locally, I could go to the download project link download the project somewhere on my local computer and then open it up locally using um, my local installation of Jupyter Notebooks. But if I want to run it in the cloud, I have to click on the clone button like this. So I'm being asked basically, where do I want to clone it? It's going to get cloned into my projects folder. I also have to sit, click on this box indicating that I trust this project. Since Sanjay was teaching a class for us, I definitely trust his notebook, so I'm going to go ahead and hit clone. Now, if you don't already have an Azure um, account and you go through the cloning process, you'll probably see some of the dialogue that we saw earlier on login, which is uh, what account do you want to use and things like that. Um, if you have a Microsoft account, you don't um, need to to uh, go through a creation process. It'll actually, uh, when you uh, clone to your Azure notebook, it will go ahead and open up a new uh, project page for you. So now I can see I'm no longer in Sanjay's projects, but I'm actually in my own projects. And so now if I click on one of these notebooks here, it will open up and I am ready to basically start running the code in the notebook by clicking on a cell, and then clicking the Run button. So just as was the case when I was running my own project, if I'm finished with this notebook, I can close the tab. But I should shut down the server um, before I actually leave the page. Um, it will shut down on its own after a certain amount of time. But that's always probably just a good practice to follow. So one thing that you should keep in mind is that when you're doing things, you're, do, you're not doing them on your local computer. You're not going to find files that are on your local computer. So if your uh, notebook involves opening files or saving to files, those files have to be uploaded into the cloud first. Uh, you're not going to be able to just open them up if they're on your local computer. So that's one thing that's a little more complicated than Azure than running your local copy of Jupyter Notebooks.